In this video, we'll explain the difference between tickets and jobs, and how to split or group them as needed. When filing locate requests for multiple excavation areas, ITIC NXT may determine that multiple tickets are required in order to adhere to the rules established by Gopher State One Call. If this is the case, ITIC NXT will inform you with a prompt before moving on from the mapping stage. When you reach Stage 2 of the ticketing process, you will be presented with each ticket needed to cover your work area, as determined by ITIC NXT. There are two labels to pay attention to here, the job name and the ticket designation. In this example, all three tickets are part of a single job, so they are all labeled Job A. They are also labeled by ticket, in this case, one of three, two of three, and so on. If you are filing tickets for multiple jobs in a single session, you can choose to group different excavation entities into specific job designations. This can be very useful if you want to make sure certain work areas are grouped together, and can aid in keeping tidy records. Creating multiple jobs in a single session is pretty simple. Let me show you. After creating one or more excavation entities, you can add a new job to the session by clicking the Add Another Job tab at the top of the screen. Now, new excavation entities you create will be assigned to Job B. Subsequent polygons will be grouped with the new job designation unless you choose to create another job. As you can see, the tickets are clearly labeled with their respective job designations. Thanks for watching.